You ever uh, eat a book or nibble on some pages? Just chew on the cover? No? Yeah? Let me know down in the comments if you uh, eat books. So the book we're gonna talk about today is The Book Eaters by Sunya Dean. I guess it's a horror novel. It had definitely some horror type elements to it and kind of fantasy, like a uh, fantasy horror, maybe we'd categorize it as. The whole premise is there are these people that are book eaters, they live off of books. And the books have different flavors and tastes depending on what kind of genre they are. Like a spy novel is peppery and like a romance novel has a sweeter taste and so on and so forth. And some things taste gross like glossy magazines and they'll eat it with ketchup to help it go down better because it sucks. It is the story of this main character, Devin how she breaks with tradition and fights against these stodgy, old, held family values that are very outdated. These families just don't want to let go of their crap traditions. So the book eaters, they live kind of outside of society. They try not to interact with humans so much. They all live on these banners. There's these like six families and they are in Scotland. Each family has their own different kind of work that they do and, and whatnot. And some are kind of shady and some are not so shady. But the whole family traditions are, first off, it's kind of rare that they have girl children and that's getting rarer and rarer. These book eaters don't want to die off. And so there's every family has a patriarch and then they have what they call the knights. The knights kind of take care of things serve the families to do their duty of keeping with family traditions, which are kind of crap. Since they don't have that many women, basically the women of the book eaters are seen as kind of a currency and they marry them off in a contract for three years where they have a kid and then after the three years they go and marry them off again. They take their children from them and they raise them with the other families. They don't let the mother see the kids anymore. And so that's pretty awesome, right? What mother wouldn't love that? Right? Right? So you may see where the story's heading. It takes a darker turn. The thing is, a lot of the women in this family, they're like, well, what else is there? What other choice do I have? What could we even do about it? This is a good life. La 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 la. Then enters Devin. As we get into, you know, more current society and current times, she's just like, what the heck? So her first marriage, you know, she's all excited and this, that, and the other, and, and she has a kid. After three years, they separate her from the kid. They bring in the knights to like take her away and she doesn't want to be separated. They basically, you know, separate her from her child, which is very traumatic and very upsetting. She's not happy about this. As things are going, like revolts start to happen within the families. Also among these families, they have dragons. The dragons are not actual dragons that, you know, fly around and breathe fire. They are another type of book eaters, but they do not eat books. They eat human minds. This is slightly a problem because it basically, when they eat the human mind, it kills a person or leaves them, you know, like a brainless shell of a human walking around so that's not good so the knights kind of control the dragons and there's this other family called the raven scars and they invent a drug called redemption and when they have the dragons take redemption they can eat books and live like that but the hunger of wanting to eat human minds never goes away so this is a weird problem amongst the families and for a long time they just killed these children up until the raven scars created redemption to you know, enable them to not eat humans. Devin has her first child stolen away. She is thrown into another marriage with a really horrible man. This child she has turns out being a dragon. So once again, she raises him for another three years. When they come to take him, Devin fights back and they escape and are on the run. At this point too, there's a big revolt with the Ravenscar family and some weird stuff happened. So they disappear. They take all the redemption drugs with them. So no one has access to redemption anymore. The families start falling apart. It becomes all freaking chaotic. The knights are starting to not really have a purpose because as years progress, they're starting to get fertility treatments so that the women are maybe not treated as bad, but still sucks the situation. They don't really have a choice. 
So, Devin escapes. So her goal here is to find the Raven Scars, to find redemption, to save her son, to keep her and her son alive because they're trying to hunt her down because, you know, that's what these families do. The knights are after her and all this chaos then ensues. It's super action adventure and I love the characters. I gave this book five stars. I freaking loved it. It was so good. I read it in like two days. I've never read anything by this author before. I thought it was such a unique concept, the concept of eating books, you know, like we eat them with our minds. These people just like literally eat them and then they absorb all the knowledge. So, you know, they, they got that, that going on. Wouldn't that be weird if you could just eat it? You could just eat the book and then you would like retain what was in it. It'd be kind of wild. The Book Eater is Sunya Dean. It was awesome. I thought the world building was good, the way the story was told, it flowed really well, and it kind of like bounces back and forth between future and past, so you get like the background of what was going on and all this crap that happened. So if you're interested in this book, I will have a link down below. It is an affiliate link, so a little bit goes to the channel and then also goes to help support indie bookstores. Also, if you are a fan of weird horror books, the next video coming up will be another weird horror book video. And if you had fun hanging out today, boop that like button, come back, see me again. And we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff.